What's good, y'all? People gonna switch up on you, all right? No matter what they say to you, no matter what they do to or for you, people gonna switch up on you. Believe that. Now, this video doesn't have any rhyme or reason or any type of real structure to it, to be honest with you. Obviously, no script. Just something that's on my mind, and I felt like sharing it with y'all since I don't generally share my inner thoughts with the people around me generally. Just don't feel like I could trust people like that around me. So, you know, I got to keep everything to myself. Now, this is a tough concept to deal with when you start having these things happen to you in your life. And I know some people are a little bit younger watching this, so maybe they don't have as much experience. But a lot of the older folks that's going to see this know what I'm talking about. Maybe it was that best friend. Maybe it was that girlfriend, boyfriend. Maybe it was that whoever, you know, that you thought was one way, that you thought you knew, that you thought you had a grasp on. And then they do something or they act a certain way that just completely throws you for a loop. And you just find yourself trying to figure out why that's happening. My advice to you is to stop trying to figure out why that's happening. Stop trying to understand what's going on in somebody's head. What I'm learning or, you know, even some of the things I've learned is I'm trying to practice stoicism. So it, it kind of taps into that a little bit. You know, learn to differentiate the things that you can control and the things that you can't control. And those things that you can't control, control them. You know, waking up early, you know, going to the gym, doing whatever it is that you want to do and that you know you're supposed to do and the things you can't control you know how people respond to you you know the the traffic on the freeway the weather the things you can't control you just got to let them go and just let them do what they do because stressing out and and pre-suffering for things just isn't productive it doesn't help anybody you or the people around you it's tough because it's like you know you want everyone to like you, especially the people that, you know, you care about or that you're close to, that you got an affinity for. You definitely want those people to like you. But newsflash, a lot of people don't really fuck with you like that. They fuck with you while it's convenient for them. You know, while they get what they need from you, that's when they fuck with you. But as soon as they get everything they need from you, generally they disappear. It is what it is, you know, and I'm telling y'all this or I guess I'm sharing this is because I'm kind of dealing with a little bit of that right now. And I mean, it's OK, you know, people are entitled to do what they want to do, especially, you know, when we're adults, like I don't have any public domain or any sort of authority over anybody to make them or not make them do anything. But I told y'all that to let y'all know that I'm no different from you, you know, that we share the same struggles. A lot of the times we share the same thoughts. We share the same feelings. We share the same defeats. We share the same successes. Things like this aren't exclusive, you know. It's not like you have to be a certain type of way or speak a certain type of way or act a certain kind of way to have these things happen to you because they happen to everybody. And it even happens to some of the people that you might think the most highly of that you wouldn't expect things like that to happen to, but they do. I suggest sometimes just going to sit in that silence, just being by yourself and letting those emotions just wash over you, letting those waves just crash into you and feel them. You know, that's how you heal them is you got to feel them. You got to go through it. Don't pin it up. Don't hold it in. Don't don't let what people do diminish you, you know, because we're all doing the best that we can. Even the people that you don't like are doing the best that they can. And that's all we're really doing. We're all trying to find this thing called happiness in life. So, you know, you got to try to be mindful of that and try to be understanding, even when it's hard to be. I know it gets hard to be understanding sometimes, but it's vitally necessary for I think this ecosystem or this utopia that everybody wants, I think understanding is a cornerstone of that personally. But yeah, man, people switch up on you. There's nothing you can do about it. There's usually never any real warning. I mean, there might be warning signs, but when you're in the middle of things, especially when you're tied up with other people, it's hard to like, you know, differentiate things. And it's hard to like pay attention to red flags that you may see. And it's hard to, you know, really slow down and and view things not through the rose colored glasses but through the bifocals that ben franklin had you know what i'm saying so you can really get a scope of what's going on around you the people around you fear not though however because you are strong enough to do what you need to do you already been doing what you need to do you got to go to sleep with yourself and you got to wake up with yourself even if it's somebody in the bed next to you or on the floor or wherever the hell you're sleeping at be steadfast persevere don't be fearful 
expect these negative things to happen because they're inevitable it is how you respond to the negative things that happen to you or let me say the perceived negative things because a lot of the the shit that we consider negative is a, our perception that we put on it so sometimes the thing may not be as negative as it appears it just you know our human brains are so advanced they can do so much that sometimes they create a whole fantasy idea or imagination that never comes to exist, that never comes to fruition. So, all right then, y'all.